Hi there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Roundtree Gardens podcast. We're here again at the Ginkgo Studios, and I had the pleasure of interviewing Miss Sherry. Sherry is an incredibly friendly person. It was a very easygoing conversation when we were interviewing, and anytime you come on campus, you'll see that she's always surrounded with a group. She always happens to be in a, in a group of people talking because she's just so outgoing and friendly. So I have a feeling that you're really going to like this episode, and without further ado, here's Miss Sherry. Hi there, how are you today? Oh, I'm wonderful, thank you. My name is Elias Rodriguez. I'm the Community Life Director here. Would you mind introducing yourself? My name's Sherry Baker. Hi there, Sherry. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. I um, will be doing kind of a light journey through your life today. Okay. It won't be okay. anything over the top, but I kind of wanted to get started with something along the lines of, where, where, did, you, where did you grow up? I grew up in Alhambra. Alhambra, oh, okay, local. <laughs> until local. I was in Alhambra until I was 15, and then I went to Pacific Palisades up by Santa Monica. Oh, okay. I've never and uh, lived there, married a, a fellow from there, and then raised my family there. Oh, wow. Okay, so, so you've been local Southern California. So I've been in California my whole life. I see. And okay. my mother was born in <laughs> San Joaquin Valley. Oh, so. my goodness. So generations. <laughs> what would you say to people that are not from California? What's a very California thing? Somebody oh, my goodness. That's, that's a, um, very, well, Southern California is the weather, obviously. Uh, I think it's the relaxed atmosphere. I would agree. That's definitely mm. more of a relaxed atmosphere. That uh, we're not, um, we have excellent because of the people that have moved here and live here, we have excellent universities, um, excellent uh, living Wonderful. <laughs> so areas. Here's and... the uh, controversial question. You ready? Mm -hmm. What do you think about In-N-Out? In-N-Out what? Hamburgers. Hamburgers, I love them. Oh, they're the best. Yeah, I, they are the I best. I think that they <laughs> cause a little bit of tension between the rest of the country and those that love In-N-Out. <laughs> Because it's kind of near and dear to Southern California. Oh, I love them. Yeah. I mean, when I get out, of, you know, somebody takes me out. That's where we go is in and out. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> and so tell me a little bit about, so you got, you married a fellow from Pacific Palisades. Yeah. Uh, and how did you meet? Uh, we actually met at my father's wedding. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> my mother passed away when I was 15. My father remarried a lady that was fabulous, uh, but he was her fourth husband. I see. And she had four daughters by three different husbands. Interesting. <laughs> but one of the daughters was exactly, even by the month, a year younger than I am. When she was 14 and I was 15. And that age, you can be kind of brats. Hmm. We bonded and we ruled the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, we, you know, okay. So you... they bought a, ha a very n nice home, and we took the master bedroom, my sister and I. Oh, wow. So you really were the head of the house. <laughs> I love that. You got the master bedroom. <laughs> so I mean, that's just, you know, one of the things. And then uh, you met your, your husband at the wedding? I actually did. How interesting. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. And then let's... he was 18 and I was 15. Okay. When we met. And then, so w when you did get married, what were some of the things that you liked? I think, I think we may have discussed a little bit in the past, some of your hobbies. What were some of the things that you liked to do and you're, you and your husband liked to do? Well, my husband uh, and son, when they came, uh, were sailors. Oh, really? So our, uh, our social life uh, sort of was, and they were small sailboat sailors, okay. racers. So they raced. And oh, cool. um, yeah, it was fun. Where where is that area? In Los Angeles, I mean Long Beach. Long Beach, okay. Yeah, and uh, Long Beach, uh, we were Seal Beach Yacht Club, oh, which wow. was kind of a do-it-yourself yacht club, How wonderful. Cool. And uh, so I would to back them up. I would get I was active at the yacht club because it was kind of a do-it-yourself yacht club. I see. So we ladies would cook when they were out racing and that kind oh, of thing. Oh, wow. How fun does that sound? It was. That's it was awesome. a nice, and it was a healthy lifestyle for the children. How great is that? So, yeah. And so have, were you ever on any of these races? Uh, I did not enjoy racing. 
<laughs> they were small boats, <laughs> and see. you hung over the side, and the water, and so oh, that's really? why I said I waved by. Interesting. Okay. Went in, cooked in the kitchen. <laughs> I, you can tell I've never been on a sailboat. Oh, you never sure have. Exactly oh, okay. So okay. This one's really small. You actually yeah, exposed. Yeah, they were, yeah. Uh, they were from 14 to 25 feet. Okay, yeah, that's pretty small. The, the different ones, so they're pretty small. The ones you see and they race. are huge. So I kind of oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, our son went on to be a sail maker, and he no, did. He, he raced the great big ones, actually, across the ocean How and all cool so is yeah that? yeah That's yeah awesome. so it was very cool and so tell me a little bit about your did you work was there any any things that you did for work i had two distinct careers okay let's start with the first one okay the first one i was a hairdresser oh yeah my stepmother owned my first step <laughs> owned a beauty salon and i was trying to figure out what i was going to do so i went to beauty school and I worked 10 years doing that. Wonderful. Uh, had my family. And then about 10 years later, when my family were grown, or 15 years later, I opened an office supply oh. with a partner. Uh, we opened Airport Marina Office Supply. Wow. We called it Amos. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. I like that. Wow. It was in Inglewood. Okay. And we serviced a uh, uh, almost all of the uh, foreign airlines. We didn't service the great, you know, the, the, the big ones here, they have, you know, but we serviced almost all of the, or not all, but most of the foreign no supplied their office supplies. Well, that's a big change from hairdressing to Yeah, it was, yeah, oh, a different, yeah, a different. So I had two really distinct careers. And tell me a little bit of which one did you like more? I couldn't tell you. Oh, that's a good, that's good. You like them both equally. Well, and they both added to my life. Okay. You know, I, I mean, I still have my beauty, my, my license, my hairdresser license, because I can buy at the, you know. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. You get the special At the wholesale rates. stores. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, well. And then in the office supplies, like, what did, what did that look like? What were some of the things that you had to do to kind of make that work? Well, um. It was, we were hardcore office supplies. We were not, uh, we didn't have greeting cards and that kind of thing. As I say, it was called Airport Marina. And uh, it just, if you ran a business, basically the office supplies that you needed in the business, you know, mm -hmm. file folders, file cabinets, uh, pens, pencils, whatever you, so was what that, do you use? When you start off with a business like that, was that kind of like spending most of your days getting that started? Was it one of those time-consuming businesses? or Well, I worked start, full time. Oh, sure. Did it yeah. start running itself after a while or did you have to be involved? In oh, time? you had to be involved the whole time. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Because we had a number of employees and the whole thing. No, no. It was a full-time job. Oh, cool. No, we did, it didn't just run itself. I was wondering. I wasn't sure. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. you get a business going. And yeah. Oh, no. This no, one no. was. You were very involved. I was very involved, yeah. And how long did you have that? Ten years. Ten years as yeah. well. Okay, and so and ten I, and ten. Yeah, so I had ten and ten, yeah. So it was ten, very, and then ten years in between. Yeah, and then ten years yeah. So great. I had a unique. I, I've been very blessed. <laughs> that sounds great. very blessed, and I had a very um, good husband that backed me up. And then, so, um, let's say after some of these, your your work, did you do any traveling at all? We dis, uh, discovered elder hostels. Okay, tell me a little bit. About and that. did quite a well. Now my brain is you know not that great. Um, but I basically discovered the elder hostels, which you travel um, steerage class. It's not first class. Hmm. Um, you stay in universities, dorms. Wow. And this was after my husband passed away. Then I did quite a bit. It was really fun because, uh, well, you know, I, I and I can't even remember all the places that, it, that I went, but... Uh, um, I went to Britain and uh, part of Germany uh, on one. Um, anyhow, I had interest because it was, you got right down, like you, you traveled in the cities on the city buses. 
So you were part of the, the city. Exactly. So you just became part of the city rather than coming in a big fancy bus and going around. So you really got And the staying in big hotels and that we didn't, that you know. And staying on university camp campuses was fun. Oh cool. Yeah. So you it really was. got to experience like yeah, it the, was. the it lifestyle was of the mobile mm -hmm. yep. uh, population there. That's great. Was there any highlights that you thought Man, I didn't expect the hostel to be this fun, but that trip was just kind of... Oh, they were all marvelous. Really? All I loved them. them. No kidding. Oh, I can't even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a travel buddy or did you kind of do it on your own? I did most of those on my own, but we made friends. You know, you bonded, really. Wow. But I, it, we did, I didn't book with a single person. What over the years. Years. So yeah. You just you booked it, you went out. Well, my husband was like gone, and, uh, you know, it was, awesome. yeah, yeah, it was fun. That's pretty adventurous. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, that's great. I, I love that. Yeah. Um, and then I always kind of close our, our interviews with a question that tends to be a little deeper than I mean it to be. But if you were to give some advice from some of your experiences and your journey in life, <clears throat> what would be something you would give as far as advice to someone that's just coming, getting into the workforce, just starting their life? What might be something that you, uh, you would advise them? Save your money. Save your money. Don't squander it. Remember, you're going to be older. Um, it, yeah, I guess basically that's it. That's it's just great. you know. And you, and uh, what might be ways that I could save a little bit? Would it be a certain percentage every month or something like that? Uh well, you have to kind of have a mindset. Um, do I really want the most expensive dinner? Do um, you just have to realize you're saving for a future or for something else? And so, I probably don't need the top of the line of something. You know, you just it, it's awesome. it's just kind of ingrained in you. I don't know that there's any single anything. That's great. I love that. That's a yeah. wonderful way. Great yeah. advice. I'm going to take a little bit of your advice now so that I can definitely do the same Good. thing. So I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, you'll you. tell me your travels later. I can't wait to tell you. Maybe I'll do hostels. I never would have thought before. Fascinating. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your time today, and thank you for taking time to get to know you. A little oh, bit this more. was fun. Thank you very much, and I'm delighted. That you're doing this and I love living here. Oh, I'm so glad. That's wonderful <laughs> news. Thank you. Thank Have a you. wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.